All right, what's up, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a short video because I had to work all day today, so it's going to be a short video, but it's going to be an informational video. It's about the Lexus, the, the Lexus IS250 that I own. Um, it should be for all uh, all Lexuses from to, from 2007 and 2012, I believe, maybe all. And so the Lexus I have is a Lexus IS250. It should be the same for the IS350 and the ISF. So basically one feature that this car has that a lot of people do not know that this car has is it has to do with the miles and the RPM. And it's, you could control the where the, because it has a light that glows over here. Over here has a light, it glows orange. So once that light glows orange, so right now it's at 80 miles. It'll glow to, when, it, when you hit 80, it'll glow orange, basically a warning. It's a warning light. So right here, as you can see, it has on off. You're gonna touch it right here. See right here, look. You says tire pressure. I'm gonna touch it again. Press the button again. To next. And then we're gonna go to speed indicator, right? We're gonna press on it. See how, look at that. See how it moved? Now we're gonna set it up. Look, look, I'm moving it with this. You can move it left to go downer and then right to go higher. So look, I'm controlling it. I'm going downer. I want it to set at 60. So I want it to glow once I hit 60, you know, basically when you hit zero to 60, that'd be dope. So boom, I'm gonna press the middle button, it's set. All right, so that's done. Now we're gonna go to the next tack indicator. You see it says tack indicator? Now we're gonna go over here. Hold up, tack indicator. Okay, see it's set to 5,000 RPM. I'm gonna set it to 6,000 before red line basically. Probably about 60, 61, 62, 63. I'm gonna set it at 63. So it should get, no, 64 actually. I think I guess the, actually, you know what? 65. Almost at red line because I think it gets the full po full horsepower and everything at 6400. So I'm gonna set it up there. So that's done and press it, done. So now when I rev the car, look. See? It's turned orange. That's what's gonna happen when you do the miles per hour. So that's that's one feature. The second feature that a lot of people don't know about is over here. We have these buttons. It's the power button, ECT. That's a uh, ECT. I don't really know what it stands for, but I think that says like normal mode because that's how the car when I got it, it was just there. And then snow mode. When it's snowing outside, it's an all-wheel drive car. So when it's snowing outside, you just press the snow button. Boom. And look. Right there it says ECT snow. So now the car knows that it's outside the snow, so it's gonna not apply full torque amount to I think it's the rear wheels. So the car won't be slipping around and sliding. And it actually helps because I tried it when it when it was snowing over here when I got the car. So I leave it on power mode because I like my power. So right now it's ECT power. So that's another feature. Um, what else? Oh yeah, over here next to it, the stability control. You turn it off, and right there in that corner light, it's gonna say that it's off. And then you press it again and it's on. That's the third feature. Another feature that a lot of people don't know about is in the back seats. Let me show you guys. Right here, you pull this down. No, nah, there's nothing, right? Nothing, nothing cool. Watch this. You press this, boom. Cup holders for the back people. Press this right here, boom. Cargo supply. You know, a lot of people don't even know about that. That's a simple feature. A lot of people don't even know about, about that because they don't go in the back seat. That's another feature. Another one is over here in the where the navigation system and all that at. Let me go to the menu. Let me press agree real quick. Okay. Menu. Alright, set up. No, I don't want that. Info. Alright, right here. Look, you got the maintenance screen. I talked about this in my review video. Look, you got the maintenance, the telephone, calendar. Look, you go to calendar, you actually to put the day, it tells you to put the day, the time, and all that. That you want and look and actually you actually could put um a memos look memos like your phone look i don't have no memos on right now but if i wanted to look and you could write it down and that's another feature people don't know about that it's basically you have a fucking phone in your car and it will actually remind you that you have something to do today you know that's another thing that people don't know about another feature this car has that everybody ignores that is the most simplest thing is look where where's the e-brake where's the e-brake that you pull no, this is like a truck. You got the foot brake right there. Push it in. And then it's on. Brake. Push it out. 
break off. It's like a truck. That's another feature that people don't pay attention to now because they don't use that. Those are my features of my Lexus i250 that basically owners would not know unless they watch my video. So again, thank you guys for watching my video. Just make sure you subscribe to my channel, like, comment, share, and stay tuned because there's going to be more videos. Remember, I post videos Monday to Thursday now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday should be four videos a week. So that means no videos Friday, Saturday, and Sunday because I work all day. So stay tuned to Monday's video. It will be out. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned. Peace.